day and welcome back to the channel on a what is it today? I think it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday today. It is the two days since the big jet meeting that was held here on the weekend. And as you can see, the airfield is once again totally deserted. No aircraft, no models, nothing. And it was really cold this morning. Eight degrees, eight degrees Celsius, freezing. It's summer. It's like this is February it's supposed to be the hottest month. And this morning it was eight degrees. So oh, I'm not looking forward to winter. And we've got a tropical cyclone headed our way. It could be here on the weekend too wreck all our flying plans so oh well never mind i'd be flying today but i don't have an observer here at the moment so there you go and i would not want to endanger all these aircraft that would be just insanity wouldn't it to endanger all these aircraft by flying my little sub 250 gram machine a meter above the ground well outside the circuit never mind those are the rules that's what you gotta live with and uh, i'm gonna show you something because it always pays to check the rubbish bins after a jet meeting. Okay, there, there won't be any footage from the jet meeting because I wasn't feeling too flash and other issues arose, suffice to say. Um, we needn't go into that, but um, no, no footage from the jet meeting, uh, but it was a pretty, you know, pretty lackluster meeting by the look of it in terms of what we've seen in previous years, but, but it always pays to check the rubbish bins after a jet meeting because, let me just get the camera, put the camera around the right way so that we can all see because sometimes you find stuff like this. Yes, this is a boomerang of land by the look of it. And it's looking a bit second hand. Very second hand. So someone obviously had a bit of a, what would you call it, I don't know, um, rougher than usual landing. And this becomes a dumpster. And here we go. So they must have done pretty well to mash up the tail of pad. There's no sign of the fuselage. But what I've done already is I've been through because there were a lot of goodies in this bin. Let's go and have a look at the goodies that I managed to extricate from this discarded wreckage. So I've put a list on the back of the truck and let's, let's go through what we've got. We've got a heap of quite heavy duty extensions, a lot of extensions. Um, this is great. I mean, you can never have too many extensions. These are heavy duty ones too, which is brilliant. So these were all wound through the, through the frame of the aircraft. I had to pull them out. So look at this, masses and masses. Some of the plugs, a little bit second hand, but you know, the wire is still good. I can use this. Um, We've got some, it's like Festo line or silicon line or something there. Some more bits of servos, um, more tubing. We've got a fuel pump here, look. Now this is a bit munted at the back, and I don't know, but the mechanics of that fuel pump are still sound. So I think I can use that. It's going to be a very handy little pump, maybe for my uh, one of my pulse jets. Yes, way to go. Score, because these things are so damn expensive. Hundreds of bucks in New Zealand for a decent fuel pump. Um, and I've got plenty of these horns, I've taken them off the airframe already, you know, uh, rudder elevator horns, adjustable, quite nice. The bolt, some of the bolts are a bit bent, but I can straighten those, that is not an issue. So I've got one, two, three, four, five of those, or four of them or something. Um, here's another one. We've got a little air pressure thing that's buggered, so this is obviously a uh, pressure line from the, from the uh, retrax, I'd say. Buggered, but I mean a bit of tubing, a bit of a wire connector. These things are all coming handy, they don't take up much room to store. We've got, so oh, that's just an extension clip. And look, a servo, a servo, what is it? It's a, it's a DS8231, so it's a JR servo. JR servo is wildly overpriced, so um, is it, uh, the gears seem all right. Doesn't seem to be um, any gears broken there. I think the horn may have moved on the spline a bit, but apart from that, you know, looks okay. The lead's there, I haven't tested it out, but hey, score a servo, eh? How about that? Um, yeah, so, not a bad dive for a, for a dumpster dive after a jet meeting. Pretty good score, actually. I guess whoever crashed their model was so pissed off they just couldn't be bothered pulling the stuff out. Threw it in the bin and went home. Yay! So, score for me. There you go. So if you're thinking of coming to New Zealand, come with a jet meeting. You know, who knows what you'll score in the day or so afterwards. That's it. Dumpster dive. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, then give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to tell your friends about the XJet channel where who knows what you'll see next. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.